This week, we're talking about VMware, database choices, and modernization. I'm Jen Person, and welcome to This Week in Cloud, where we serve you the lowest latency news. Customers have been asking us to provide broad support for VMware, and now, with Google Cloud VMware Solution, you'll be able to run VMware vSphere-based workloads in GCP. This means you have more choices for how to run VMware workloads in a hybrid deployment, from modern containerized applications with Anthos to VM-based applications with VMware and GCP. And should those workloads happen to include databases, we've made a few upgrades on that front, too. Enjoy Cloud SQL from Microsoft SQL Server, federated queries from BigQuery to Cloud SQL, and the ability to run Elastic Cloud on GCP in Japan. To learn more about how each of these upgrades can help you, check out the full post. One thing you're sure to need no matter what, security. Read up on some recent improvements we made from our advanced protection program to ML threat detection to new locations around the globe where our Titan security keys can be used on the cloud blog. But first, you've got to get your workloads modernized and into the cloud. And that's why we've also added new tools to make the journey even smoother, like support for migrating from Azure, and tools to manage networking for your microservices, like Traffic Detector, now generally available, and Layer 7 Internal Load Balancer, now in beta. See why each one makes such a big difference on the GCP blog. If you want to read more about these announcements or see a full list, check out the link. Have any thoughts or ideas? Leave us a comment or tweet us. We'll see you in the cloud.